good by exercising, but we're creating free radicals, all right, in our body. The way we get rid of them is through making sure that we have the proper amount of vitamins and nutrients to do that. The blood building nutrients, which I mentioned in the vegetarian slide, because those are all things that come from animals, okay, and calcium, and that's a big one, all right? It's a really, really big one. Now, they've done studies where they asked college athletes, they said, you know what, um, how many of you think that if I give you a, a vitamin pill, it'll, you guys will have extra energy? And I mean, it's an easy thing to believe, vitamins equal energy, right? Well, these studies found that most college students, and actually a lot of high school students, there's no doubt, believe that vitamins give them energy. And shoot, you can walk into a GNC and you can say, man, I don't feel so great, I need more energy, and boom, they're probably going to come up with something that you need that will give you energy. Well, vitamins don't do that. They actually unlock, you know, all the biochemical processes. And you guys have had biology and chemistry, and you know about, you know, the different cycles that there are in the systems. They help to unlock the stuff that's stored in food that give you energy, all right? And it's the calories, the carbohydrates that we talked about, the protein and the fat that come from the foods that give you energy. Remember, 20 minutes, carbohydrates after 20, some carbohydrates, but we're really using fat stores, okay? But I'm not going to sit up here and say, God, you guys, you really should go out and buy extra vitamins and minerals. Check with your doctor, okay? That's always a good thing. Or check with one of the doctors who works here at McAllister. But it's not a bad idea, okay? I take a multivitamin. I actually take extra calcium because I know I don't get enough, as I probably should. What you want to do is remember a couple things about multivitamins and about minerals, okay? What I want you to think about is this. I'm going to throw these up here right now. You actually pee out and you actually poop out, all right? And you actually sweat out additional iron and additional calcium. So if you're not getting enough in your system via what you're eating normally, and you're exercising for an hour, hour and a half, two hours a day, lifting, cardio, working out, that type of thing, you're probably sweating out an extra amount as well. So you really have to focus on these two as really important for yourself. And it's not just runners that end up with stress fractures, because soccer players run, volleyball players jump and hop, softball players are hauling around the, the field, football players, stress fractures come from any kind of running injuries as well. And you would want to make sure that you don't end up with a stress fracture. And study after study, which still is it's, it's still amazing, um, is that most women, guys, you tend to get enough calcium because you eat enough calories and because you don't mind putting extra milk on this or eating other things. Women, we tend to go, oh, no, I'll have a Dasani water and I won't have a milk, or no, I don't only want one scoop of ice cream, or no cheese on my sandwich. We don't get enough calcium in. You guys are all still building bone mass up until about the age of 30. I told you my age earlier. It's all over for me, okay? I got the bones that I've got right now, and I'm going to try to maintain them, you know, for a long, long time. But you guys are still building bone mass. Make sure you're getting enough calcium. Now, how much should you get in? The recommended dietary allowance is about 1,200 milligrams a day. What does that mean in practical terms? Three glasses of milk, all right? If you're not going to drink milk, get it in yogurt, get it in cheese, okay? Or possibly look at a supplement. Just make sure you're getting enough in. You guys ever seen this stuff? Come on, Mega Man. Who wouldn't want to be a Mega Man, right? Yeah, these guys all want to do that. Here's the deal. Multivitamins are out there, and they're a dime a dozen. What you guys need to remember is a couple of things. A lot of them are going to be putting in extra amounts that you don't need. Okay? The USRDA was already developed for all these vitamins and minerals, three standard deviations from the mean, which means it encompasses 99% of the population, which means that most, if not all, of my pro-athletes, if they eat relatively well, don't need extra vitamins or minerals. They just don't. Okay? They still may take them as that insurance policy that I mentioned, because you know what? Who, which one of us here, me included, eats really, really well every single day? I told you earlier I eat Doritos and, and eat Oreos, and I said I drink beer, but Paul is here, so I can't really mention that anymore. So, um, I mean, nobody eats perfect, and I'm the first one to say that, all right? So it's not a bad idea to consider this, but what you want to consider is something that has 100% of the U.S. RDA and not more than that, okay? The other thing that you want to make sure of is that the stuff that you're purchasing doesn't have 18 other substances, including, um, you know, ginseng or guarana or shark's cartilage or this or that or the other thing, or bee pollen extract. 
there's 101 crazy things out there that they're putting in these things, thinking that people are going to buy them because they're like, damn, that must be good if it's got a bee pollen extract in it, right? It must do something for me. What tends to happen is if you're on other medications, okay, and maybe you're not on corticosteroids right now, but you never know if you end up getting hurt or whatever can happen, that any of these things can happen. When people get to the hospital, not only do we ask them what medications are you on, we have to ask them as healthcare professionals what vitamins, what minerals, what supplements are you taking. Okay? So this is not a great choice, neither one of those, because they're so high in things. What is a good choice, and I'm not going to say you got to buy Centrum or one a day, but things that have no more than 100% of the USRDA, take that label, look at it, and make sure it's got about 100%. Some of the men's formulas and some of the women's formulas might have 100 to 150 percent of a few things, that's okay. But if it says 555 percent or 3,000 percent, not a great thing. I told the coaches yesterday, I said I was out on twin spring training a couple of years ago, and one of the things they want me to do is to talk with the players. And so the players come individually up to me and they bring these different things. And one of the young guys, nice guy, came up and said, do you mind if I take this? Can I take this supplement? And I looked at it and I said, well, I prefer you don't. You know, I'm never a big person. I say, absolutely not, you can't take that. You know, people turn you off. They don't want to listen to that, right? But probably not a great idea. And this is why. And I told him. And I said, how many of these pills are you taking a day? And he said, five. Four or five. Five, I think. And it had over 4,000% of the USRDA of a couple of the B vitamins. And when you take that many of something that's got that high of a percentage, it turned his urine neon yellow. So he was peeing fluorescent green and yellow. And I looked at him and I said, are you peeing yellow? Are you like neon yellow? And he said, oh my god, how did you know? You know, I was like, it's not hard to know if you know what's in it. So I'm not saying that your pee is going to turn neon yellow, but you guys, the stuff that is in some of these things is not great for you. So no, no more than about 100%. Now the other thing to keep in mind, and I told these guys yesterday is I take this Target brand vitamin. Your body doesn't know the difference between Centrum or Target brand. Once you pop it in your mouth and it's in your stomach, it doesn't know the difference. Okay? So just food for thought. Check with your doctor. And if you choose to do it, no more than 100 to 150%. Okay, this is a really important topic now for athletes. Hugely important. All right, your muscles are mostly water. 75% easily, all right? The other 30, other 20% um, is protein, we talked about for building and muscle growth and repair. And there's some other inert ingredients, if you will, in your muscles. Okay, guys, your bodies are about 60% fluid. Women, ours are about 50% fluid, okay? You need it for cardiovascular function, meaning your heart. You've got to have it for thermal regulation, which is why we sweat, okay? Even in the cold air, um, when we're out cross-country skiing or something, we're sweating, just trying to keep our 